Hey, what's going on guys? DJ Hats here, bringing you guys the next in my 30 days of Zombies countdown. This is a countdown to Black Ops 2 Zombies, and wanted to uh, go ahead and continue this series. I'm playing on Verduct, and after I finish this uh, this gameplay of this map, then I'm going to move on to another map and to play some gameplay on that one, and hopefully I'll cover at least three or four maps uh, over the next uh, 30 days. So hopefully, again, you guys like the series. There might be a lot of zombies for some, maybe not so many for the other people, but... But it's been fun for me, and uh, and um, definitely looking forward to Black Ops 2 Zombies and uh, what those things have to offer. Uh, so it's fun to be able to go back and play some of the older maps, and especially some of the oldest maps back from World of War, such as this. Um, it's crazy to see how much has, like, I mean, there's been a lot of changes in Zombies from the beginning of World of War, uh, and from Notch, Notch or whatever that the first, um, or Kino, I, not Kino. From Notch, I don't even know the name of the damn map. They have such funny names. Um, and right here, I think I used the monkey bomb right again. Didn't kill near as many people as I thought it would have. I guess I didn't shoot them enough times with the uh, with the uh, winter sow. But yeah, so I was saying, it seems like the zombies have advanced a ton. Like it started off with nothing. Like there was a mystery box and a, and a ray gun, and then now there's special guns on top of the ray gun, and then perks, and then um, you know quick revives and and. And then specialty sort of weapons every every other every other map or the wonder weapons pack a punch um, specialty zombies sort of things the George Romero type and and other ones that just kind of show up on on the the random maps and stuff the zombie knots and whatnot the Easter eggs have evolved like a crap ton so it's really neat like that it's been its own like kind of uh, culture of of within a video game and and it's really helped drive I mean really. Treyarch could have sold zombies like separate, probably, and they could have doubled up on their money because I would have bought both hands down. I would have paid sixty dollars for zombies. Maybe that's just me, but but it seems like they offer a lot, a lot of things for you if you were able to get all the previous maps from the previous things, as well as maybe some uh, some fun DLC where they're able to add all the perks to older maps or whatever. You can play the the retro versions, or you could play the newer versions with newer guns or whatever it might be. It would be cool, man. I mean, I would be down. Um, to pay money for that. I don't know if you guys would, but th that's the <laughs> most useless gun ever. I swear. I have such a grudge against that gun and these guys don't seem slowed down at all. They're just running at me uh, as quick as they can. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I don't know. Like it'll be interesting to see again. Definitely. I don't even know what to speculate. I'm sure by the time you guys actually see this video, cause I'm having to do the commentary a little bit early so I can prepare for all, uh, all 30 days. I have to do the commentary a little bit early. Uh, especially since I'm pretty damn busy, uh, but you know I try to I, I stay dedicated. I, I'm dedicated as it can be when it comes to the channel, even though it doesn't bring me like that much money, um, and uh, I don't have to post uh, all the things I say I'm going to post. But it's nice to be dedicated and be able to follow through with whatever I'm trying to do here at least. So, um, but yeah, man, 30 30 days, 30 uh, days of zombies is going to be crazy. I think this is again only day seven. So at this point, I think I'm at, out. I don't even know why I'm pulling out the box. I think I'm trying to get um, more ammo because I know that the ray gun's going to be kind of a bad spot. I know that after this next round, I'm going to be at a tough spot because of the ammo. And I have 30,000 points. It's more than enough money to buy all the guns back again. But then you deal with the whole thing. That's one thing that's kind of frustrating in the mystery box. It keeps moving locations. And I have tons of money, so I'm going to be able to go and pull the mystery box however many times I need to. But then it moves after like five pulls, and then I have to go back and try to figure out what I'm going to do. And sometimes it can be kind of a pain. But um, I think I was waiting for the the round to uh, to end. So round 25, man, that's pretty good considering. I mean, for me, that's good. Like considering where I started off, it wasn't very impressive. Uh, my first three videos were ridiculous. I got down so easily, and uh, and I I got down three times by my my sec I think my second video, round 14 or whatever it was. So. Not a great start, um, but I just ended up rallying. It's just kind of like my nukes and stuff. Like, if you uh, you don't start off the game right, that doesn't mean you have to quit the game and like rage quit. Like a lot of times, I start off my nuke nuke games and and uh, some games I'll just do really really horrible, and then somehow some way I'll end up pulling off a nuke and then at the end. Um, same sort of thing with zombies, I guess. I mean, you can get down three times and then get your rhythm, get a good gun, and then uh, and then make it into you know, the high 20s or 30s or whatever you might get to. Um, but uh, for me, man, I don't know. I, I wanted to tell you guys what round I get to just because it's not crazy impressive, but I figured I'd uh, 
wait for you guys to see. And right here, like I was trying to shoot these guys with so many bullets, and there's a 2x there, and I was like, oh man, I really kind of want that. But then I like realized, I'm like, I gotta move, because these guys are spawning behind me already. I'm nowhere near the end of this uh, round, I just about got caught on that ledge again. Um, and so if I figured if I don't keep moving, I'm gonna be really out of luck. Almost out, there I am, out of bullets there. Winter Sal has five, and this is that spot that I was talking about again, where it's like, you just, you need to grab this gun or the other gun on the wall, because if you don't grab a gun, um, you're gonna be out of luck, you're not gonna have enough bullets. And so I'm just kind of running ahead, trying to spam him with this uh, this little guy. Um, and I do realize this is a World at War uh, gun, which I could, I think is kind of neat. Like the the wall weapons um, stayed kind of traditional, but uh, but the the mystery box didn't. So you're able to get different kind of guns and stuff. And I also like how you can get grenades from multiple locations. You can see I could have grabbed some off the wall right there, which uh, I end up doing I think later, because uh, it's nice to be able to grab the the grenades off the wall if you need be to uh, spam these guys because I'm obviously out of grenades as well or I think right uh, and I get stuck again right up there there's grenades right here again as well and I would have liked to get that 2x but didn't happen just about ended up dying right here again and there's another spot right there on the wall um, so there's like four spots that I just kind of saw maybe five to uh, to get, get grenades so there's tons of tons of spots to get grenades which is great um, how to buy more ammo I think already for this guy because uh, it runs out of ammo really quick, especially now that these zombies are just impossible to kill. And I mentioned this in one of my earlier videos in this series, but some of my ideas for Black Ops 2, which would have been awesome, would have been able to, obviously to be able to pack a punch, or if they would have added a pack a punch machine to the older rounds, would have been or the older maps, it would have been awesome. But uh, to be able to pack a punch twice would be great. Like to be able to make like a super strong gun for, for 10,000 points. So if it's like 5,000 for the first pack a punch, and then 10,000 for the second, that would have been dope to me because then, then you can be like stronger and actually kill these guys with the ease of, of some of the earlier uh, rounds. But maybe that's just my idea. I don't know if uh, if something like that would actually end up happening or not. Um, not sure. I I hear lots of things about Black Ops 2, lots of different game modes and stuff and and stuff. But it, I'm curious to what type of improvements they're going to actually make to the to the original game modes. If it's going to be great, if it's going to be decent, or if it's going to be just there are no improvements. Which I mean. If it's not broken, don't fix it, I always say. And there's a lot of situations where, uh, in in most cases, like multiplayer, and especially, they, they try to fix something or try to make something better, but in turn end up making it worse, such as Death Streaks and Modern Warfare 3. I think Death Streaks were horrible. Um, the fact that you you can have... I mean, the the um, support kill streaks were honestly a big pain in the ass, too, especially when you have a kill streak, kill streak like... The uh, black or the, not the black, but the stealth bomber in in a support category just drives me wild. It just I don't understand the point of that. But so it's like interesting because you think it's like a step uh, ahead uh, because they're adding new things, but it's actually a step back backwards. So I you know I'm hoping that they don't actually end up having that problem with uh, with zombies. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there, there's going to be things that, that are new that we're all going to be like, oh, this is great. This is such a great idea. Why didn't they have this earlier? There's also going to be things that we're going to see and go, oh my god, like really, this is this is the worst idea ever for um, for a map or whatever it is. And here I am trying to pull the box now. I have plenty of money, as I mentioned, and I'm trying to avoid this little zombie dude. And, uh, and of course, the box moves, man, so I have to go try to figure out where the box is again and uh, try to get more ammo and stuff. Um... And I'm not sure where, quite where the box ended up moving, so I guess I go. We gotta wait it out and watch. But uh, you know, I sh I should have tried some of these other weapons on the walls. I haven't even seen what what half those guns are. Maybe some of them are super rad that I don't even know about. But the one that I was grabbing right there was the easiest one to get, uh, at least for myself. And uh, and it it worked. I mean, consistently, so I couldn't complain. That was the other spot that there's grenades. I mean, I think there's grenades on oh, no, the bouncing betty's in this room. So there's grenades from at least four spots that I saw. There's right here on the wall, not there, right there. Was I going to buy that one? Oh, the Thompson. I didn't even know what, which one that was. I think that's why I was checking it. And, um, yeah, I don't know, man. There's, no, oh, here's the mystery box. I don't think I actually saw the mystery box down in this location the first, uh, first time. I don't even think I knew if it was here. Because I actually, um, again, as I mentioned in the previous videos, I feel like I have to repeat myself a lot because um, I'm referencing things that i that I already kind of covered, but, um, you know, it's, I haven't played this map very much, so I didn't know where all the mystery boxes were, so it was kind of a, a kind of a hassle, because I'm like, god damn it, 
where are they? And then you can't really see because you're inside of a building where the, the things are beaming down towards. Um, I don't know, man. If I had to say which is my least favorite map out of all the maps, this one might be one of them. <laughs> This one might be one of my least favorites, and not because of the, the it's it's like an original map, but just because there's there's no uh, max ammos, and it makes it so difficult. But at the same time, those other maps can be such a pain in the ass when you have the dog rounds. I mean, in in all honesty, from from what I've seen, um, you have to save your your thunder gun in like Ascension or other other ones. Maybe not Ascension. What what's the Kino? Yeah, Kino in particular, I remember having to save my uh, my thunder gun ammo just for the dog rounds because they got so powerful and so strong. They're so ridiculous to kill. Um, and then you have Romero. I don't even get me started on Call of the Dead, man. It, it's just he would keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. And then you'd have to focus the whole time of trying to, to kill Romero like instead of uh, kill the zombies. And then if you get the Wonder Waff, which is a great Easter egg, but if you get that gun and you have that when Romero is around, it, it shocks him, and then uh, then you're gonna have to start like uh, hightailing it out of there because he's gonna be angry and everything else. I thought that was kind of crazy. There's a cleaver to the head on the the thing over there, and I always end up getting this damn this damn gun right here. So this is me just basically the rest of the round just trying to get a damn gun again. Um, start me off right in the next uh, next round, and so I end up getting the winner's owl. Yay! My least favorite wonder weapon ever. Um, it always is kind of cool to see, though. I mean, it looks kind of steampunkish, which is uh, which is always fun. But but the productivity for killing zombies from that gun has to be the worst out of all wonder weapons. And the last little pull, like that, I'm trying to do right here. I, I ended up getting rid of the gun that I got off the wall because I figured I have enough money. If I don't want to spend too much time um, getting another gun, I always can. And there's a plunger. I thought that was an Easter egg. I was like, what is that? Um, if I don't want to waste my time getting a the uh, another gun off the wall. At least I can go, or excuse me, from the box. I can at least go over to the wall and use it. So I think at this point I just uh, I might end up just saying forget about it and end up killing this guy and then moving on to the next round. I don't I don't remember. We'll see what ends up happening here. And I was like looking around. Actually, I don't even know if there's any Easter eggs on this map. If there are, it'd be kind of fun to go back and look at. But just uh, I think this is the end of this video, man. This is a longer one. No, no it's like 13 minutes. Um, well, thanks again for watching the series, guys. This this series is almost over for this map. Uh, and then uh, there's going to be a new map after this. And then for 30 days straight, I'm going to be counting down uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies and looking forward to getting that game. If I can get it early, it would be awesome. I remember I did get uh, Modern Warfare 3 a little bit early. Uh, so it would be awesome if I can get Black Ops 2 a little bit early. And um, then I would definitely be ready to rock. As soon as, as, soon as uh, Black Ops 2 was able to have gameplay posted, I would definitely start posting. So... We'll see what happens. I mean, I don't have any insides connects on uh, trying to get the uh, Black Ops 2 yet, but if I can get it early, damn well better believe I'm going to do it because I want to get um, as much Zombies gameplay as I can in before uh, everybody else can if, if that was even possible. But anyway, get into this game, play, check out uh, the channel uh, as the weeks go and 30 Days to Zombies. Have a good one, guys.